hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of Madi. today i'll be giving you a quick run through of how i got this design i'll be dropping the the free psd file in the link below so but it would have password you have to watch the video to get the password as usual please uh, if you have any questions just ask thank you so let me get right to it so what i did first was to create a new page Control n for new page that was i created i used 2000 by 2000 pixel i created it don't worry about the background color it doesn't mean anything so what i did next was to create was to bring in this background control let me let me copy it so you can actually use any background i'll show you why it doesn't matter you can see it doesn't matter again so i can decide to use any any background that i want so what i did, did was to add a little gaussian blur effect to it gaussian blur effect is loading at radio 6.4 so let me switch it off to three hours you can see it's very sharp but i don't want it to be very sharp it would actually contrast with the background so i had to use gaussian blur so if you want to use gaussian blur what you do is come to your filter here your blur and your gaussian blow you can see just click on it to show you the radius that i want to use that aside so what i did, did next was to bring in another layer Control c so i often time work with different images you know to get the perfect one i work different type of images let me show you if i change this blend mode now to normal you can see this is how the image is but i this i wanted to use this circle kind of feel in my design so what i did was to download this image and i changed the blend mode to linear dodge if you even use use screen screen will do, will do the same it's to remove all the blacks in the design so let's keep it to keep that a linear dodge add so what i did next again was to bring in all this flare you can see Control c Control v so this is the flare image i have this one too in my i download this image too so you can use this image. you can try to duplicate it also control i press it control j on your keyboard for duplicate sorry see control j then control t to transform transform horizontal then you can make it you can make it aligned you can see it's aligned so you can decide to use any kind of lighting you want any kind of design at all for your background but as my designs i play with a lot of backgrounds sure you get so what i did next was to bring in my image as you can see this image is very common but the way i, I use mine is very very different i always try to make my image very very distinctive from others sorry it's taking a while to load so what i did was to bring in my image and, and i added camera raw effect to it so you bring in your image come to your camera raw effect let me show you what i use as settings as a settings sorry it's loading so for exposure i use 10 i use 0 0.10 0 0.10 rather contrast i use 61 texture i use 32 clarity i use 36 for clarity then i think for the details i used noise reduction 34 to make it very very sharp very sharp you can see the edges you can see if, if i remove the notch like this you can see it to be very you can see difference you can see it to be grungy so i added 34 or you can use 40 any one you want then click ok and also i i always like my background to have to blend with my images you can see this is kind of the uh, orange lighting and i realized that i have orange lighting in my designs so what i did was to bring in I created this brush. If you let me show you how I, how I created it, you can come to your new layer here on your keyboard. Press B. You can see you can press the bracket to increase your brush, or you can increase the brush over here. You can increase the brush over here also if you, if you want to. You can see over here so you can see it's like this. So what I did was to change my foreground color. I changed it to something like okay, let, let's just use this orange like this okay, let's try this then i behind this image behind my image i would increase my brush also 
increase my brush oh sorry let me let me drag this here i would tap once or tap twice and i will now change my my blend mode to let's see linear you can see linear dot add is giving me that feel so you can control and v to or you can come to your move tool here they can actually now align this one you can you can see it's giving that feel of um of the exposure that we want like it's reflecting on the image then if you want to go ahead also you can even add one more to have this blue feel also you create a new layer here b again on your keyboard change the foreground color by double clicking on it let's tap on this you can see this blue then you can tap once you can also change the blend mode let's try linda dot add also anyone you want to use v to move then you can move this something like this so you can decide to to change the position of this of this picture is very very simple and easy it's very simple and easy so let's now come to the text part i won't be going back and forth again so this for this text now you can see i use different designs and design uh, mode here different blending options here so i used outer glow blend mode screen opacity 100 noise zero then color i used oh sorry color i used ah what's going on oh sorry i used 00 d2 ff then i used spread zero size 20 27 then drop shadow i used i used it twice opacity multiply opacity 79 angle 90 spread distance 46 spread for size 68 noise zero then i added another one again opacity 26 50 zero size 100 then you can see my text color is white and i use the font kenyan coffee for the font so i did the same the same um, font here too kenya coffee let me show you my blending options i used only outer glow here the same as the first one which is opacity 100 the same color same size then as usual i used more um, autograph personal use for this text here and i added drop shadow to it too then as usual my image then also for this flare uh, for this shape here for this shape sorry let me click on it oh sorry okay let me explain this as usual you can see in all my videos what i do is i create this kind of effect using the gradient tool so what you do is you create a new layer you come to your gradient, you click on gradient two with your foreground color set to black. You can click on black like this. You will gently brush like this. Gently brush. You can see it's changing. You can gently brush. But because I did this opacity to 35, it's not giving me that face. So you can come make. You can see that's changed drastically. It has changed. That's changed. So let me switch this off. Delete this and switch this on. So what I did. So what I did here it was to. For this shape here, as you can see, sorry, it's not clicking on the shape. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get the shape. Yes, this is the shape. I created, a, I created, a, I created a shape. No feel, no feel at all. Then I added stroke and outer glow. As you can see stroke i added gradient as the stroke so i used my usual gradient at location zero i use f seven nine seven one e at location 100 i used f seven nine seven one e also then i used outer glue 
you can see fe 6703 opacity 58 blend mode inner dodge at range 50 size 10 jitter 0 then okay then added by text then for this how i got this was to create you can see everything here is look is just text effect let me show you how i got this finally finally you can see bevel and emboss i used inner bevel smooth size for three um depth of three size 13 soften nine screen opacity 10 you know the, the color I, I used yellow this i used brown brown color for it you know how just, just have the different kind of feel then for the stroke i used size 4 position outside normal opacity 100 then inner shadow opacity 4 multiply distance 54 choke zero size 33 then for my gradient overlay i used allocation zero i used zero 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 four twenty eight then allocation 100 i used zero zero four e nine two then drop shadow you can you can't get inside to use any, any kind of drop shadow you want to use. so it's very very simple just to create this so i'll be dropping the psd file the psd file below Please, please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.